Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. We are here with Altre in the building. Her name is Isabella, Ella, Ella, Ella. Okay, so y'all know it's it's too hot to be wearing some long at wigs, okay? But y'all know, anyway, I love long wigs. I wear long wigs in the summer, in the winter, all year round. But anyway, I brought you guys something short, cute, sexy, but not hot okay so we have a bob in the building her name is isabella and this is the overall construction of her as you guys can see she comes with about i think she comes with four combs two on the side one in the middle and one at the nape and it does come with the elastic band as well but this is really how this unit is looking oh i'm sorry y'all it comes with three combs my bad So this is what the wig looks like when I put it on my head for the first time. And honey, let me tell you something. Anybody can tell me nothing, period, okay? Now this wig does have a little bit of a shine to it. So if you do have some dry shampoo, you may can use that to dull it down, some baby powder, but it does have a little bit of shine. And the hairline is thick, okay? It is thick, thick. Boom, we're gonna go in with our Ebon Tinted Spray. This is in the shade Medium Dark Brown. We're gonna shake that up real nice and good. And then we're gonna turn our wig inside out. And we're gonna get her a matching my skin tone because baby, we cannot go out in these streets looking like that. Oh no. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and spray it. Now you wanna make sure you do an even coat. Don't leave no patches and all that stuff. You wanna make sure the entire thing is covered evenly in your spray of your color. I mean, yeah. Y'all don't know what I'm saying, but you know, just, just spray it up. So after we're done, we're gonna go in with some hairspray and we're gonna go ahead and seal this in. This is an important step because if you don't, baby, it's gonna, it's gonna melt away, okay? <laughs> it's not gonna stick. So once you do that, you wanna seal everything in with some hot heat and make sure it's dry before you go to install her. All right, so this is what everything is giving us when we put it on our head. And as you guys can see, it blends in very, very well. Look at this part. What is that, y'all? It's a double knot. Like, that knot is super thick, but I'm not going to pluck it. <laughs> I am partnering to the hairline so you guys can see how much room you do have to, you know, customize it, be a little playful. It does come with baby hairs, but I did brush the baby hairs back into the hairline. Um, but anyway, y'all, we're going to go ahead and get start started with pre-peppering it. I cannot talk to you, y'all. Pre-prepping prepping the wig. I do like to hot comb the wig before I do install it. And doing it with the lace on it prevents me from getting burned. Because girl, girl, don't got no time for that. So I do have my dial in between the 5 and 10 on this particular hot comb. And the hotter the heat, I notice it will change the texture of the hair. As you guys can see, it's definitely giving us like a yakky texture. So if you do put your... Um, hot comb on a higher heating setting is going to change it into like a sil silky shiny texture so I try to make sure my heat is medium low so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the extra lace that is not needed okay um, this has a lot of room on there they give you a lot of lace so it's definitely gonna fit your head I actually had to cut um, the extra lace off towards the ear tabs because it was entirely too much. So you see me going in and fitting it around my ear perfectly. All right, so we're going in with our Ebon Wonder Lace. Y'all know this spray. I rave about it, especially for the summertime. Baby, it keeps me right out in these humid streets, okay? It's high, it's high. Ain't nobody got time for your lace to be lifting. So I always grab for my Ebon Supreme lace spray because baby, that, that stuff is bomb. Now it depends on if you sweat a lot too because if you a sweater, I don't know what to tell you because your wig gonna come off anyway. But this humid, baby, this is my go-to product. So I spray about one to three layers and I wait till it's tacky by using my blow dryer on a cool heating setting. And then I go ahead and pull the lace down into my forehead and we're just gonna secure that down. You do wanna be sure that the product is tacky before you lay it down because it's not gonna stick if you don't okay it's just gonna make a mess so we're gonna do this pretty much um to this um entire unit like i said it's a full i guess i can i, I don't like saying full lace frontal because it's not full but it's a frontal so you do have to work in sections to get everything to lay it down um if you have problems with your ear tabs sticking down just go in and layer 
just use more product on the ear tabs because them things be flying in the wind. All right, so we are all done. And now I'm just gonna have it melt a little bit more. So I am gonna add my elastic band on and I love to let this sit for about 10 minutes. While this sit and I'm, I'm going, I am gonna go in and detangle the hair once more just to make sure, I don't know. I just felt like detangling the hair. So we are done and you're not gonna really see like a melted factor here because the density and the hairline is so thick. But anyway, <laughs> I am going in to straighten up this part just a little bit. And like I said, it's a thick knot, okay, in the center of this lace, but I'm not gonna go in and pluck it because I do not wanna poke a hole in the center of it. So we gonna finesse it. I am gonna go back in with my hot comb dough using the back side of it. And I'm just gonna press it down because baby, this is a bob. This bob gotta serve. She already got the bob. I mean, she already got the volume. She already got the bounce, the body. That's the word I was looking for, the body. So we just need to get her flat. So I am using the back of the hot comb to flatten out that um, part portion of it. And then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of cream foundation to make this part pop. I do put about one to two uh, layers on there because I'm really trying to hide that big old knot that's in the middle of the part. Baby, why y'all had to send me that at one? <laughs> so, y'all, this video is not sponsored. They don't know I'm doing this, but it is what it is. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just gonna go in and what am I doing? Am I doing some baby hairs? Yes, I'm gonna do some baby hairs because I felt like this unit, like people have faces for no baby hairs. I feel like the way I put on my wigs, it don't look right with no baby hairs. So we finna finesse and put some baby hairs in. So I'm just gonna go in and make a little oval, I don't know. And I'm gonna get these baby hairs on and popping. Now for the elastic band, y'all, inside of this unit, I did have to cut out the elastic band because towards the center of my head, it was not pulling down. So I had to cut it out so it would fit perfectly around my hair. So I did cut the combs out too because I hate combs and wigs, but yeah, so. As you guys see, we're going in to do just two swoops. I didn't do any more baby hairs than these two swoops because the way I had the hair, it was hanging down. And I'm not about to sit up here and waste time when I'm not even, nobody's gonna see that. Um, but if it's windy outside, you may wanna, <laughs> you may be wanting to do baby hairs all the way around so you won't go crazy. But I didn't care. It was windy that day, but I did not care. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my baby hairs and shut up, okay? All right, y'all, so I'm done, but I did not like how flat the look, like this look with the baby hairs. That was not given. I said, no, we need a little boom de boom 
bump 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 you know so i'm just gonna comb it in a upward direction away from my face and then i'm gonna have to use my hot comb and then a little bit of got to be glue free spray to hold this um bump into place because baby i feel like this part brought the wig together because if i had left it flat like that baby i would have cried because that was gonna be ugly i was like no we're not going out like this okay so i had to do what i had to do so i feel like it really turned out great when i did it this way and like i said i was just um alternating bef between the hot comb and my got to be glued just so it can stay in place So boom, y'all see how good that looked, but y'all, it was a piece of track sticking up. I was saying, oh no. So I just cut it out, okay? And you can't tell me nothing because you can't even see it, period. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna take my hot comb and run it through the entire unit. Like I said, I'm keeping it on a low heat setting because I do not want to alter the texture of the hair at all. So So y'all, look at this. This looks like a fresh install. This looks like I literally came out of a salon chair and baby for less than $50. What? Are you kidding me? Who's funny to tell me anything? I tried the best to get my back, the back of the head, y'all, but it's only me. So <laughs> this is all I got. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to check out the link to this hair, which I will have listed in the description section below. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And until my next one, your girl will see you later. Bye, guys.